Hey, welcome back AutoCAD students. And in today's tutorial, we are going to create our own workspace. And you may be wondering what a workspace is. And a workspace is basically your environment, your ribbon, your toolbars, um, your menu bar, which is up here, um, and how those things appear and how you work with them in AutoCAD. All right. Um, AutoCAD gives you pre-made workspaces. And the one that I use the most is called drafting and annotation and if you look up here in the upper left hand corner of your quick access toolbar you actually have a workspace pull down alright so notice that drafting and annotation is the current workspace and that is why my ribbon looks the way that it does so for instance if I click on 3d basics you should see the workspace change which means I have a different ribbon um, that shows me different commands that go with that workspace. All right, so let's just go back to drafting an annotation. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I want to make my own custom one that's very similar to this, but it will allow me to export it and import it onto another computer if I want, and then that way I'm always working with the same tools in the same position that I like. Okay. All right, so let's go into the CUI. So I'm going to type CUI. And what this is, this is the customized user interface. And this is where you can create a new workspace. All right. So over here in the upper left hand corner, notice that we have uh, the ACAD CUIX loaded, which is the default CUIX that AutoCAD gives you. And right here it says drafting and annotation is our workspace and it's current. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to duplicate it because um, this way I'll have my own. Okay. So notice here it made a copy of this original and now I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to give it my initials and I'm actually going to call it workspace. So I've CJD workspace and I'm going to do an enter. All right. So now that I have that, I'm going to right click on it and make that current by picking set current. So now that is the current workspace. Okay, so I want to just take a look at the ribbon tabs that come with this workspace. So if I come over here to customize and click on that, notice this turns blue. And if I open up the, um, the ribbon tabs, which I hit on this plus sign here, these are the ribbon tabs that come with this workspace. Now, if I come back over here to the left and I open up ribbon and I open up tabs, the tabs that are in blue here are the tabs that are checkboxed over here. Okay, so for instance, if I don't think I need, um, for instance, where is it, 3D tools, I'm going to uncheck that, and when I uncheck it here, it removes it from this list over here. I think I will keep the rest for now. Okay, I'm going to pick Apply. All right, and I'm going to pick OK. All right, and here my workspace is up here. Uh, these are my ribbon tabs that we had checked off. Okay, these are all the different ribbon tabs. Um, just as a side note, if you find you're either missing or don't see one that you had checkboxed in the um, customized user interface, uh, it could be there and just unchecked. So if you right click in this gray area, and you go to show tabs, notice here visualize was unchecked. So if we did want to see that, we could turn it on and it adds visualize to the ribbon. Um, if we find we don't use all of these and we want to turn a couple of them off, for example, if I want to turn off AutoCAD 360 or um, if I also want to turn off maybe BIM 360 for now, I can just not show those but they're still there for easy access. Okay, so that is the beginning to customizing your ribbon. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a toolbar. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned.